Welcome back to Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. I'm Burning Dog Face. And uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Shadow9808, who reminded me that I did agree to uh, help Fatal with her insomnia problem. This is interesting. Hmm. Aww. Never. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, there is no way they are a couple, no. She, oh god, I really wanted to say that because she's going to take it poorly! <laughs> I am a bad friend. Oh. Oh, well. Oh, wow, I'm almost there. Augur. I know what it means, but... Yeah. Hmm. That's a curious phrase. I just had to move the mouse, sorry about that. Uh, the one attached to my computer. Not to one of the two people in this conversation who is also a mouse. Oi. Uma. Oh, yes. Uh, other mother. Second mother, that's what it was. Ugh. No, he's coming down, not up. Nope, no, nope, it's getting quieter. I looked just to see he must have uh, disappeared then. What am I doing? Scusi. Hee <laughs> What should I do? What should I do? Well, I don't know if I can do that tonight. Uh... Oh, I'm in the fucking... Wrong section! Oh, the Sleep of Thieves! Three sprouts of crimson mushrooms and... Hmm. I might find some beetle legs down in the in the t uh, what do they call it the tunnels if I uh, do this myself. Oh god damn it! Now I hear a scat beetle. I don't, yeah, I don't actually have to worry about that. Ugh. Oh, there you are. Boop! no door there, but now that he's gone, I'll just, uh... And one for you. And one for you.
Ooh, a rose. It's been a while. Uh, right, yes, I knew that. Uh, no, I didn't. Where the, where the, where the, oh, yes, yes, the book. It is the book. Mara's book. Yes. Harvest's end. For the first time in an age, Master Lulin sang, his voice bright and clear, and you knew then that the time had come, to travel south with the winter at your tail, to leave the valley, the village, and Mera. Mera, you longed for her to join you on the road, but you knew it was impossible, for her brothers were too young to work the fields, and her father was too frail. She was duty-bound to them as you were to your master. Oh. Now I'm sad. So many fucking keys. Oh. That's a strange place to find that. Since I can just stand wherever with a proclivity now, a mask of the sort a thief would wear to conceal their identity. I'm gonna wear that the next time I talk to, uh... Fatal and Gusto. The mask is fashioned from two layers of cloth, designed to help disguise the sound of one's breath. It is not, however, an acceptable substitute for a COVID-19 mask. <laughs> I'll just waddle my way out of here. Oh no, uh, you. Where the fuck am I? So if I'm a new recruit here from Yuva, it has to be because I fucked up, right? I... Beat the wrong officer's son at cards. How about that? That seems like something that would get me sent here without actually being incompetent. Seems like a good cover story. Alright, I guess I'll go talk to the Commandant, then. Is that guy looking at me right now? No, no he is not. Okay! We're running! Freedom! Midnight, so let's just go to five in the morning. Get a nice early start. You only need five hours of sleep to operate. You'll be really cranky for the rest of the day, yes, but. No, that's just me? Okay. Um, how about you? Okay. Now. Since there's, uh, you know, guys fucking everywhere in this specific area. Loop around into this place. Past the lectern alcove. There's a red banner. For the life of me, I will never understand that. Uh... No, no, no. Let's try out there. Do you know what? I... I will actually go out this way, because I've just remembered that I know how to get there if I'm from a different area of the... What? Yes, okay. So I'll just go up those stairs. Yeah, these ones right here. Which I can now climb with impunity, because I am a guard.
Not that there would be anything un uh, unusual about that. Like, I would normally not be a guard. Or anything. At last. I think I did this too early. This Rolo still isn't down there working. Oh, no matter. The commander will be in there by the time I find his goddamn office. Let's just pretend we can see anything. We must be private. Scow! Oh. The door was not open a moment ago, I would like to point out. I, the camera has pulled way back, presumably to make me look even smaller. There's just a full set of armor right there. Excuse me, my good man! Nice banners! Like Freel. Nice beard. I didn't know, uh, mice could grow facial- or rats could grow facial hair. Sup? Indeed. Welcome, then, to Dweenlin Heights. Is it not Dwindling Heights, sir? No, no, it's a common misconception. <laughs> a local colloquialism, if you will. Uh... It's nothing. Is that a loot you're carrying there, sir? Or, you know, yeah, I, I say, sir. I was reading the things at the bottom as I uh, finished saying that out loud. Oh! He didn't give... I, I thought it was going to be the same thing either way. I, wanted, I was kind of hoping for an explanation. I did say, sir, this time. It's a good name. Oh, it was very clear, sir. <laughs> Metaphorically speaking, of course.
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Likes to drink or two now and again. Has a secret mouse wife and child. <laughs> That is interesting. Oh, good. No, I'm just gonna, you know, peek in here. Oh, fine. I can't reach up there, but okay. <clears throat> in uh, incident log. Private Hearth, given two days in jail for not wearing his full armor in the courtyard. Private Ettinger? Eingar? I don't know. Struck and brained by falling to a drawbridge after winch break failed. Mechanism still unstable. Ooh. Private Gaff, left addled by a falling barrel. Oops. Sorry! Private, uh, Jewel wagered two florins he could jump the pit. Funeral to be held tomorrow. Two florins? Come on, man. Private Scree, taken by spiders in the lower levels. Private Pakov, slipped and fell on a broken jar of snail slime. Private Snorl, drunk on duty, assigned to the Screaming Gate for one week. Private Fleck, struck and knocked insensible via flying bottle. Private Niels, charged with theft of official documents and remanded to the cells. This is gonna be really boring. I hope you're ready! Is that a bed? No, it is not. I'm in a room. Ooh, a wash tub. Fancy! Yeah, okay. King. This costume is based upon the ceremonial garb of King Nor, the great warrior king of legend. In triptychs illustrating his life, King Nor is always seen with a golden crown, a flowing white beard, a magnificent beaded tunic, a regal pair of pantaloons, and a fine pair of stockings and shoes. I feel the need to point out that even if the idea of impersonating the king wasn't ridiculous, uh... <laughs> the red pod doesn't have a king. Hmm. 
They made a big deal out of that. Oh, God. I think I clipped into the wall. Oh, no, I was clipping behind this. Yeah, that must have been it. Why does it zoom out so much? This is weird. So I'm just going to finish robbing you blind, sir, and then I'll be uh, on my way. I'll just leave the door, since it seems to get itself. And there's the timer. Oh, right. You can, of course you can't hide in it. You can't open the lid! You dumbass! Okay, I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Ghost of a Tale. When I... Read this boring book, and there was something about reporting to the. Yeah, the West Gate. Okay. What's new in here? Oh, right, the King's Pants. The pantaloons are the perfect size for a mouse. It's fortunate the garrison commander wears his clothes so tight. Huh. See you next time, folks. Later.